doing a top 10 useful websites video where I'm going to show you guys my top 10 useful websites. So this is going to be epic and let's just get right into the video. All right. So number one, top 10 useful website. This is actually one of my favorite websites. It's called lazyapply.com. Like the, like the name describes or implies, this website will literally help you apply to jobs without having to waste your time and do a bunch of work. So you can automate your job application process with lazyapply.com. It's an AI job search tool that automatically applies to all job platforms like LinkedIn, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, and more, right? So how this thing works is you're going to add the Google Chrome extension onto your computer. And then after you add the extension, it's going to be something that you put up here. And once you log in, this is what you'll see once you log in, right? You'll see you can set up your resume and set up your information. So you'll just edit your resume. And that resume is what ChatGPT, what Lazy Apply is going to use to apply to jobs for you. After you complete your resume, you're going to start applying to jobs. So you'll click to start applying. You'll enter in the types of jobs that you want to apply to, the skills. Then it's going to, you can enter the number of jobs you want to, to apply to for you. You can add some more details here. Then once you click start applying, it's actually going to automate the entire process for you. They have three different plans. They have a basic plan, which is 99 bucks, but it comes with lifetime access and you can automate LinkedIn and Indeed. They have a premium plan, which is 129. I think this is super worth it. Again, lifetime access. Oh, they have a daily limit. Let me make sure I explain that too. So with $99, daily limit of 150 jobs per day, you can have up to one resume. With the 129 plan, which I think is super worth it, you have a 129 and lifetime access, LinkedIn automation, Indeed automation, ZipRecruiter, Glassdoor, Career Builder, Seek, Dice. Like imagine all the time that you spent to file applications that you may never even get the job. You can literally spend 129 and apply to up to 750 jobs per day. I actually use this tool and I actually did get a job with this tool as well. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I haven't used it. So, you know, like I've personally used this. I can vouch for this tool. They have five resumes. Not saying I have a job now, but, you know, I use this tool personally and it works. So and then they have a lifetime plan like the, the unlimited plan. This one, like, I'm not sure if you need to apply to unlimited jobs, but if you really want to, feel free to, like, apply to unlimited jobs. That's completely up to you. And that's it for the first website. Second website is Fiverr Fiverr. This is one of my favorite websites just because, like, I can find anything that I need at the right price for whatever I want. So, for example, for this video, I'm going to talk about YouTube thumbnails. If I want to create a YouTube thumbnail... I can just go to Fiverr and search YouTube thumbnail. And one of my secrets that I use on Fiverr, like, so all these people right here will create a YouTube thumbnail for you. This person, $5 for a YouTube thumbnail. Pay attention to like, this is what you should know before you even hire somebody. So you see this person right here, they got 4.9 stars from over 1,000 reviews. So you can tell they're credible and the price is right. This person here, they got 1,000 reviews and they're $20. So it's like, you can either pay $20 for one thumbnail or you can pay $5 for one, th one thumbnail. It's completely up to you. This one is a premium thumbnail. This person's starting at 30, but they only have 19 reviews. This person's at 50. They only have 343 reviews. I'm not going to say only. Just compared to these two people that have more reviews, I'm going to start here, right? So I'm going to click on this person. And that person said two for $5, not just one, but two for $5, five for 25 and you can see their previous work. So this is all their previous work. And I don't want to only focus on thumbnails. I just, but that's just one thing that comes to mind with people, with people on Fiverr. If you need SEO stuff, you can get SEO stuff done, right? There's like sky's the limit. If you need graphic design stuff, this is all the stuff that they can do for graphic design, whether they need a logo, a website, an app design, a landing page design, editing for your photos, architects design they can help with your t-shirts i actually got the people that made the mock-ups for my t-shirts on fiverr as well they do art illustrations product and gaming print design so if you need to create a brochure a flyer a poster whatever you need a menu for a restaurant like literally uh i actually use fiverr to create my books too so book design book covers packaging labels like that's just the graphic design then you have program and tech. You have like business websites, e-commerce, like whether you have WordPress, Shopify, Wix, GoDaddy, like 
literally everything. If you need some coders, you have Python coders, you have HTML, you have software developers, people for Q&A review, software testing, code review. Like if you want to get a mobile app, PC games, cybersecurity, like literally like AI development, chat bots, like whatever you want. Digital marketing. These are all the stuff that you can use for marketing services. And then they got video animation. So if you need to create some TikTok shorts, some YouTube videos, like 3D product animation, like corporate videos, AI art videos, like literally anything that you need. Then they got the writing section. So if you need to create content for your website, if you need to run, if you want to write a book, script writing, creative writing, podcast writing, if you need to write a speech, I have a dream like Martin Luther King, we'll all be content creators. So like literally proofreading and editing, book editing, beta reading, business and marketing copy. So these are just some of the things that you can do with this platform. Then you got the translation and transcription. All right, music, audio, business, data, photography, AI services. You kind of get the picture, right? I don't need to keep going on and on and on. If you want to create like some chat GPT applications, this is really cool because they can even create some bots for you using chat GPT. I will build an AI auto blogging website on your previous niche. So it's like you can use AI to do a lot of things for you. And that's why chat GPT and all this stuff is so powerful. All right. So that's website number two. Website number three, you guys already know this website. This is chat GPT. I cannot emphasize the power of chat GPT, but what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to have a conversation with chat GPT. If you guys don't know, you can talk to chat GPT. So I'm going to say, Hey, chat GPT, I need to write, I need to write an article for class, but I need your help brainstorming brainstorming the article right and then i'm gonna ask can you help me i always like to ask for the question because chat gpt is either gonna say yes or no so it's of course i can help you brainstorm your article could you please provide more details about the topic your class has given you this will help me tailor my suggestions to better suit you need okay i'm like okay the topic the topic is about presidential elections right but I need your help to first create the outline, right? So the reason I want to do the outline, let's talk it out before you start. Let's talk it out before you start. So now I'm letting ChatGPT know, okay, so it's writing my outline for me. Absolutely. Let's start by creating sections of your article and it just did all of this for me. So now I'm going to say, let's start by outlining the key section. Here's a basic structure. So intro, this is the intro, historical context, electoral process, campaigning strategies, key issues, voter demographics, election day and results, international perspectives, conclusion, right? So now I'm going to say, okay, I want to write, I want to write about the 2016 election, presidential election. with Trump versus Clinton, and I want you to give me a topic, a, a title for the article before we start, right? Say, make the title about how Trump shocked the world and beat Hillary Clinton, right? Okay, so now it's going to make this title for me. Trump's triumph unraveling the shocking upset. So look, this is beautiful. Trump's triumph unraveling the shocking upset in the 2016 presidential election. So this is perfect. I can even say, hey, can you write me two versions? So with chat, like what I'm trying to show you guys is like when it comes to working with chat GPT is like the more you feed into it, the more it will give back to you. I could have just said, hey, write me this article and da da da, da. I wanted to have a conversation with it. Now I'm going to say, now use the first title to create an outline for me. 
So now it's going to do all the work for me and do the outline, intro, historical context, boom, 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 campaign strategies, voter demographics, boom. But if I just like, so the more you feed it, the more it's going to do for you. So I'm going to say, perfect. I love it. I love it. I'll let ChatGPT know you are the best. So now look, I'm satisfied with Alan. If you have more questions. Okay, yes, I need more work. Okay, you're not done yet, ChatGPT. Okay, so now, now I want you to write 300 words about the intro. I'm going to do, the reason I'm not saying write everything because it's too much. I'm going to have it write 300 words for the intro, 300 words for the historical context, 300 words for electoral process, etc. Now I want you to write 300 words about uh, I'm going to copy and paste this because I'm going to keep reusing it, reusing it, right? Now I want you to write 300 words about the introduction. So now it's doing the introduction for me. Boom, 300 words. More than 300 words, huh? It looks like, all right. That's perfect. Perfect. Now, now I want you to write 300 words about the historical context. All right. So you just, you, you get the picture. The more you have chat GPT do for you, certainly here, 300 words on the historical context. So now I'm having, I'm going to just pull all, and then when I'm done, I'm going to just copy and paste this and put it onto a Google sheet or a document. And then I'm going to combine them all. And I'm going to use the headlines that I got from chat GPT. And then I'm going to clean it up, add my human touch to it and make it perfect. So most people, they would just say, Hey, chat GPT, write this article about this topic. What I'm doing is I'm having it work where I'm having it give me the outline. Then I'm having it specify the outline to the topic of the, that I'm writing about. And then I'm taking that outline and I'm going to have chat GPT write 300 words, 200 words, 100 words about that specific section from that outline. That way my content is clean, precise, and it's not just like fluff content. And if I want like, Hey, can you, you make sure the content is unique and can you fact check to make sure i am not lying you can literally ask chat gpt to do all this stuff for you absolutely ensuring accuracy isn't critical da, 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 da. so it's letting you know last training cutoff date is 2022 so you guys get it right chat gpt number three boom so right now, what I'm streaming on is actually Streamlabs Talk Studio. This is the third website. Streaming is the future. If you're looking at a lot of these content creators and a lot of people in general, and businesses in general, if you're not streaming, you're going to get left behind. So this is just the first of many streams that I'll be doing. But I'm going to continue this process because this is just the beginning. But Streamlabs is actually the tool that I'm using. They're not sponsoring this video or anything like that. Not yet, at least. But I'm using Streamlabs right now. And the reason I'm using Streamlabs is because... They have multiple different products that you can use when it comes to streaming. You can stream with your desktop and you can stream with Talk Studio, which is the web-based live streaming version. And that's what I'm currently using right now. They also have the video editor, the podcast editor, cross clips, so you can stream like on your desktop or on the web with, with Talk Studio, Streamlabs, whatever. And then what makes it really cool is you also have this thing called multi-streaming. So I want to show you guys multi-streaming is the process of streaming from multiple platforms. So multi-stream reach multiple audiences at the same time. So right now I'm actually live on YouTube, I'm live on Instagram, and I'm live on LinkedIn, and I'm live on Facebook. So I'm in four places all at once with this video. So it's just why not spread my wings with my content and make it as, as many places as possible versus just one place. So that's why I'm basically streaming with, uh, that's how I'm streaming right now with Streamlabs Talk Studio with multi-streaming, all right? So this is a great tool. You can grow your fan base across all your social platforms, and it's actually really affordable. There's this website and there's StreamYards, I believe. And StreamYards is basically triple the price of Streamlabs. So I would definitely say I like Streamlabs so far, specifically Talk Studio. And I think it's just really cool. 
and they have pricing on here somewhere i can't find it but you guys kind of get the picture when you're going live you just improvise and i'm improvising but yeah check it out i think it's like 19 dollars a month for their first plan and they should have a clear pricing section which is really interesting i'm surprised they don't but you guys get the picture though check out Streamlabs. great for multi great for streaming in general and then specifically multi-streaming with talk studio if you guys don't know what i'm talking about this is actually what talk studio looks like so you can see this is me streaming here inside of talk studio and i'm streaming on multiple platforms at the same time okay okay people all right let's do this so so far you guys got four websites i believe and this is going to be the next website i don't know if my camera just went out i hope that didn't go out but if it did we will improvise okay so we are still going with this live stream if my camera went out I'll, uh we'll figure this out all right so all right next website is freelancer.com so freelancer.com is the fifth website on this journey that we're on together right now and with freelancer this is a really good website because you can find freelancers for anything that you need so what i like about freelancer is like this is how i actually found my website designer this is how i find some graphic designers this is how i find a lot of different people so you can find graphic designers website people it's kind of similar to fiverr but it's just more of like an open marketplace if you put out a job like let's say you're looking for a web, de a web designer you might have 50 100 people respond to you with freelancer but on fiverr you actually have to go and find those people with freelancer you post a job and hundreds of people will start responding to you you can search by language featured jobs by skill etc etc right so streamlabs is really convenient and really helpful as well i mean freelancer.com is really helpful as well you can also search for people by location and you just log in create a free account and you can find the best freelancers for any job around the world so make it real with a freelancer and like i love freelancer i've been actually using this website probably for like um i would say maybe 10 years or so but definitely check out freelancer great website to use great tool and then moving on to number six so this is a website called youtube summarizer and with this website you can just paste a youtube video link into like let's just i don't want to copy a video and then deal with some freaking copyright stuff so what i'm going to do is you'll enter url here for a youtube video and it will summarize the video for you so this is really cool because you can just kind of summarize youtube videos without having to waste your time so look this is a summary of that video and you can see this is like an executive summary so instead of you having to watch a video or deal with all the you know deal with a long video you can just have it summarized so kathy wood ceo of ark invest believes the health cryptocurrency market is good and global opportunity she expects the crypto asset ecosystem da, 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 da. if ets are approved there'll be a huge demand for actual bitcoin in space forcing funds to buy bitcoin and you know just talking about all the good news about bitcoin and crypto shout out to you kathy woods the crypto bull run is about to go crazy it's about to go crazy that's a side topic if you guys ain't into crypto you definitely better go check yourself before you wreck yourself all right moving on moving on to the next website website all right interior ai i like interior ai because this is a cool website and with this one it lets you use artificial intelligence to design your room so you can upload an image right here of like a room that you have in your house then this website will use ai to give you a visual of what you can do with that room like it's, it's literally just like an interior designer but it's ai so instead of you having to go pay an interior designer to come like set up your room and all that other stuff you can just go to the ai and have the ai do it for you so this person uploaded a picture of a room and this is what the ai gave them this is like another picture that the ai gave somebody and this is like another visual that the ai gave to people so all these images here are things that the ai actually created for somebody else they uploaded an image of a room they had in their house here and then boom the ai gave them this so it just simplifies your life and helps you kind of decorate your house and decorate a room in your house without having to actually hire an interior designer obviously you still need to go buy the furniture get the paintings and get the grass and get the greens to put it all together but you don't need to sit there 
and like you know just have those uh moments where you're just like really not showing what you should do like this is a really well designed room with the paintings the greens like i love this design and check it out it's interior ai design so that is i believe website number six moving on to number seven uh, i think this is number seven right here so wait we had one two three four five six seven all right eight this is number eight number eight is tome dot app okay with this one i like this website a lot because you can use the power of AI to create like a Google slide or a Google slide presentation or, you know, just a presentation in general in minutes. So instead of you having to look at a blank, a blank PowerPoint slide or, a, you know, a Google slide, any presentation that you need to create for class with tome.app, you can create those slides in minutes. OK, so how this thing will work is. You'll just tell your own story and you'll let the AI design it for you. So give them the details of the project and it will literally create the text for you and it will give you visuals and images that you can use on that item. I'm just trying to find like a good slide and it actually works for both mobile. It's mobile friendly and it's desktop friendly. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, I created a slide, but it doesn't look good on mobile. So Tom. Like whether you're a founder or a startup, whether you're a creator or a freelancer, whether you're a marketing company, these like product team sales, like you can literally use Tome AI for anything. So I'm going to click creators and students. So for creators and freelancers, all of these were done with AI client proposals, progress updates, micro sites, personal portfolios, like you can don't have to waste your time like professional overview food writer specializing in Italian cuisines so now you can see the AI created this slide for them and then you can have it continue to create more and this is the process right here so it just created all these slides in minutes without having to waste your time you can also like use dolly 2 on here to change some of the images and you can easily share your slides just by like using the shareable link so this is a creator media kit that was done with Tome AI. Okay, that one's not working, but I'm gonna give you guys some cool stuff. This is an RFP response that was done with Tome AI. So just to give you guys some visual. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So this was like an RFP that somebody created and they used Tome to do it. So. Look, write a punchy headline, boom, boom. All these slides were created with AI. A person did not sit down and do this. This was all done with AI, and that's just one of them. So that's the RFP response. And these are all the individual slides that were created just for this one. Then we have all these other different slides, but you guys get the picture. You can use the power of AI to create beautiful slide presentations. Website number nine. This is uh, Mid Journey. Mid Journey dot com is a really cool website and how mid journey works is mid journey they don't really have like a user interface yet so you need to download discord once you download discord you'll be able to use mid journey and you'll be able to turn any text into an image so for example this person on mid journey they typed in a young filipino woman suit happy smile looking into the camera pink background soft da 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 da, da. but you get it this person wrote in the style of a minimalistic posters pastel portrait of an astronaut in the field of a sunflower this one right here 3d abstract interior linear art of fire so all these images were literally done with ai and not one of these images were hand drawn so back like a poster art and pasto oil painting of galloway markets pubs busy streets vibrant colorful back in the day you'd have to pay an illustrator to design these images and it might take days it might take it might take hours days in some situations even weeks so look at this one this one is uh of king charles of king charles right and like this can be actually a little like look at these ants this is so sick like army of ant ultra realistic hd like this is beautiful this was all done with ai every single one of these images is text to image is what it's called and it's text to image with mid journey 
using AI to turn any text into an image. So whether you want to create like a basic photo, whether you want to create a cartoon image, whether you need this for work, whether you need this as a graphic designer, whether you need it for clients, like the sky's the limit with mid journey. It's not the best with creating images with text on them. But as far as just like regular visuals, like whether it's like a photograph, whether it's an animation, illustration, like this thing is extremely powerful. So check out Mid Journey. It's definitely like an AI tool that is not going anywhere. And again, you can like join the beta program and Mid Journey, my favorite tool. Number 10, I saved the best for last. This is actually one of my favorite tools and I use this tool on a daily basis. This one's called Beacons AI. I saved the best for last because I love Beacons. I actually created some content for Beacons. This is not a sponsored post by Beacons or anything like that. This is not covered in our agreement. I'm just listing them as another website, but full disclosure, I did get paid by Beacons to create some content on my Instagram, but this video is not a paid video, just me sharing the website, full disclosure. Boom, that's out the way. So now with Beacons, I love this tool because when you go on Instagram nowadays, you can like before they had beacons in these types of websites, they have like a link tree as well. I think beacons is way better than link tree, but link tree is kind of one of the originators. So when people create like an Instagram, they can only put one link in their bio. And when you have one link in your bio, you can like, you know, you may have other products and services that you want to sell, but with beacons, how this thing works is now I can have multiple links in my bio. So this is really cool because you can just promote multiple products with one link in your bio. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about because this is my Instagram account and this is my beacons right here. So this is my beacons link. And when you click on my beacons link, you can see I have multiple, like I have my social media profiles up here. This is like a lead magnet that I created. This is a link to my subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then this is a product that I'm selling with my beacons account. So the link in bio feature is just one element of beacons. They also have a post activity where you can track and analyze your posts, an audience manager. So you can kind of track your analytics. They have an email marketing tool, which is really cool. And I've personally used beacons to build my email list to over 100,000 contacts. And like, unlike most companies, email marketing companies that will charge you an arm and a leg as you get more contacts, beacons does not charge you currently right now per contacts. They will just kind of let you do your thing with the email marketing, which is great for creators that don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars per month sending emails to their people on their newsletter. You can also create an online store with beacons. And what I mean by online store is this is actually one of my products in my online store. This is my 500 useful websites list and bonuses. And this is like something that I built inside of my beacons account. So this is like where people can actually check out if they click the buy now, they can put in their information and I can make money. So this is really powerful because it's really easy and beacons doesn't charge you any money every time you sell a product. So. You can create an online store with beacons. You can do email marketing with beacons. You can create a link shortener. So like most people use bit.ly and all these other tools. Beacons is really good for a link shortener. You have a QR code generator. So if you want to create a QR code, whether you want to put it on a business card, you want to put it on an image or whatever, you can use the QR code generator to create your QR code. Plus they also have the media kit. And what you do with the media kit is if you're looking for brand deals and like you're an influencer like me, you can use the media kit to host all your content in one place. So I'll show you what I mean by media kit into AI slash. I don't know if it remembers my URL for my media kit. All right. It might not remember my URL for my media kit, right? But I have my media kit and it's built with beacons and I want to kind of show you guys my media kit, but this is live. So I didn't have the media kit ready. But what I will do is this next time I'll kind of show you guys my media kit, but with the media kit, <coughs> I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. <coughs> like you can create like a, um, like you can have all your information in one place. So when brands want to know like your background and like who you are, what you do, you can just send them the link to your media kit. It will show them how many followers you have. It will show them your analytics from some of your accounts. It will give them like a visual 
understanding and explanation of what's going on with your account. They do auto updating of your stats. You can add a video pitch to pitch to brands. It's really easy to share. You can show off your past work. So if you work with other brands in the past, you can highlight them in your media kit as well. And you can also add custom rates. So if brands want to know how much they should be paying you, you can just add the custom rates in here. Advanced gating, you can kind of gate some things out. And these are some of the people that are using Beacons currently, especially to get more brand deals and all this other stuff. So Beacons Media Kit is a super powerful tool, especially if you're a content creator. You can send invoices to your customers. They have a pricing calculator, the AI brand outreach, income dashboard, W9 generator, early pay, so much things that you can do on Beacons. And they have a free plan as well. But I would also recommend you just get their marketing bundle, which is like a lifesaver because you get all of that for $30 a month. You can try it for free at $0 a month. But once you kind of get used to it, I definitely recommend you get the marketing bundle because you can just do a little more with their tool. And if you're a top creator and you're making money and all this other stuff, I would even go with their $100 a month VIP package which supports creators ready to monetize on a larger scale. So you get everything in the expert marketing bundle, plus you get an ex expert advisor, priority support, physical business card, and so much more, right? So these are my top 10 useful websites just for today. I want you guys to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite website. If you have any videos that you, I mean, if you have any websites that you want me to share, let me know about that in the comments as well. I'll be doing this maybe like two t two times, three times a week. This one was spontaneous. I wasn't as prepared. If there's anything that I can be doing better when I'm going live, please let me know. I don't really know how to use my chat feature yet. I don't know how to do a lot of things, but I'm still learning how to do this. But as a creator, this is what you do. You just fail forward. And how I fail forward is by learning and doing. So this is my first top 10 live useful website videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys on my next video. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button. Peace out, people.